In today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys an updated shoe collection video, as well as highlight some of my favorites in my rotation. What is up you guys, Stevie here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you can see, we're in the studio and I wanna share with you guys an updated shoe collection video. I feel like it has been a minute since I have done one of those. And I feel like as years has gone by, my shoe collection has definitely condensed down quite a bit. And I'm really excited and I'm really happy with my current shoe collection. I feel like there's a little bit of everything. I know what I like, I know what I dislike, and I know the kind of shoes that I always gravitate towards. So if you like my style, if you're looking for some sneaker recommendations, boot recommendations, and just some new shoe ideas overall, I feel like this video is perfect for you. As always, it gets chatty here. So, you know, do what you have to do, grab a snack, grab a drink, and just kind of relax me for a bit. I think I just want to keep it casual. I really want to just highlight the shoes and really dive in as to why I feel like each shoe was for me, why I kept it, how I wear it, all that good stuff. So links to everything, all the details and all that good stuff will be in the description box down below. And yeah, there's a lot to get through. So in a friend bling, let's dive into today's video. In no particular order, let's start off with these Prada boots right here. As you guys are seeing on the screen, these are just a really nice pair of high quality leather boots with some nylon touches, a nice lace up detailing. I love the sort of slight chunky sole at the bottom and obviously that nice sort of subtle yet not so subtle Prada embellishment on the side right here. In addition to just getting a lot of wear out of them, if you were to see these in real life, they're disgusting, low key, like they're super dirty and they're creasing and it's just all the things like some of it is even like some of the boot is actually coming off and stuff but i feel like that is a sign of a good purchase and or just a good footwear option in general it's signs that you're getting a lot of wear out of them obviously the cost per wear side of things and it's just a sign that you have been loving down your boot heavily and that is exactly what this boot is for me right here i personally did not purchase this i got it gifted through a collaboration that i did with the previous brand and i have had it ever since i think i got this like almost three four years ago and this boot right here in addition to obviously Obviously, it being super easy to style, it means a lot to me because this boot right here was one of the first things that I was gifted when I really kind of had this epiphany like, dang, this social media thing is gonna take me somewhere and I feel like I'm doing well. And that was all courtesy of the brand. Like I said, I did not pay for this, it was gifted to me. So yeah, I think just overall, this boot right here is so amazing. They still sell this boot till this day, like product creates this boot. They have it in stock all the time across various retailers. It's just such a classic boot that again, is easy to style. I feel like I like how some of the boot is nylon and then some of the the boot is leather and it has that slight chunky sole at the bottom because in terms of styling you can truly go either way you can dress it up you can dress it down and it's a boot that it's not too dressy because it's not all leather but then it's not too rugged because it's not not leather you know what i mean because i feel like sometimes with certain boots that's kind of the caveat it's like either too dressy or it's either too casual this is the perfect in between if i didn't get it gifted i probably would repurchase organically time and time again and i feel like when this boot really gives out on me if they are still making it i will purchase it again no particular order let's talk about these acne studios loafers that i bought i think it was this past summer and i have gotten so much wear out of them ever since i love the ruche detailing towards the top of the toe bit i love the slight subtle kind of casual flex with the gold embossing and stamping with the acne studio so one foot says a and then the other one says s i like the slight elevation in the sole at the bottom and just overall it feels like a really great high quality loafer i feel like my beef sometimes with loafers is it doesn't feel high quality and I paid a pretty penny for these right here so I would hope that obviously the quality would you know kind of come through in that aspect and these right here definitely do just that I got these during the summertime because I wanted to experiment kind of you know outside of sneakers and outside of boots and all that stuff y'all know I love a good shoe I love a good boot especially a chunky one but I was like you know I think it's time to serve up something different and these loafers right here were the perfect option to do just that and yeah overall like I said I've gotten so much wear out of them you guys are seeing it from the product images it's just a really nice high quality amazing loafer that if you take care of it right, you can have it for years on years on years. I feel like the branding towards the toe bit is just the right amount of detail to where, you know, you're getting that designer flex, but you're not doing too much. And then the overall ruching towards the top right here, same goes. It's doing, it's doing just the right amount to differentiate it from other plain black loafers, but not going overboard in the aspect of, okay, I can't wear it all the time and it's not going to match with certain things. This loafer right here can easily be styled and yeah, I just love this one like crazy. Definitely one of my favorite purchases from Acne Studios. 
You guys know I love a classic sneaker option and what better brand to do the classics right than Adidas. A huge thank you to Adidas for sponsoring this part of today's video and supporting my channel. If you guys have been following me for years on years on years, you would know a mention and a showcase of an Adidas sneaker or some sort of Adidas piece always comes around every year without fail. And I think that's just a firm testament to just how amazing and classic their brand is. You guys already know what it is. The Adidas Sambas is definitely having a moment right now. I'm seeing a lot of people people, content creators, influencers, and just out here in the wild. So much people are wearing them and they are a great classic silhouette and option. I feel like I have yet to really try it out. So let me know in the comments down below if I should kind of get outside of my comfort zone and try them. Or let me know what you guys think about the sneaker that you're seeing on the screen right now. This is again from Adidas. This is one of their originals silhouettes that I personally really love. I love the sort of slight chunkiness. I love how it comes in a ton of colors. And I think just overall speaking to Adidas, the quality and the overall offer of the sneakers is truly 10 out of 10. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Should I try and finally style the Adidas Sambas or should I go and opt for the Adidas original silhouette that I just mentioned previously? In addition to some of the classic sneakers that they have, they also have some good, just overall amazing clothing items that I'm excited to kind of get my hands on and get in the mail. I love just a casual option like this. You can truly dress it up, dress it down. If you're a bit more sportier, this is gonna work for you. Or if you kind of want to add your nice little slight dressier touch to it, you can add an overcoat on top of it. Adidas has a wide assortment of different sales going on right now. I will leave all of those links and all of the information typed out on the screen right now, as well as in the description box down below. If you're looking for clothes, clothes, shoes, workout bits, truly a little bit of everything Adidas has you covered. Thank you once again to Adidas for sponsoring this video and supporting my channel. Let's switch it up and let's go to something that I don't get a lot of wear out of, but I'm so glad that I purchased because now I see so many other people wearing it and I was right when I first got it. So these right here are a pair of Solomon sneakers. I will have the product nation, all that stuff on the screen for you guys to check out. This shoe right here is such a Banger. This shoe right here truly features a little bit of everything. I love how it's sporty. I love the different use of textiles and materials throughout the whole entire shoe. You have the mesh, you have the sort of shiny plastic bit right here. You have just this really intricate lacing. You have the Solomon kind of branding throughout the whole entire shoe, along with just the various colors in this particular colorway. This colorway right here is my personal favorite, and that's obviously why I got it. I love the double pull tabs in the back. And I feel like this shoe right here is just something that you necessarily wouldn't think of when you think of my personal aesthetic or my outfits and stuff but I kind of like that juxtaposition of like oh, okay this is a super sporty shoe and I'm like still styling it with regular stuff like I would wear it with what I'm wearing actually today right now I feel like low-key that kind of probably would have been a hit I probably should have done that but anyways going back to the sneaker it was so inexpensive it is such a casual flex and I feel like when done right when you style it right you truly can come through with just so many variations of outfits and I feel like I've been seeing a lot of sort of creators and all that stuff really diving in and showing love to Solomon especially as of late and I love it I love to see it I picked these up I think it was last spring and I shot some couple outfits with them and I got some good amount of wear of it like the bottom is kind of dirty I think I like put it back in the box in my closet and then when I was getting ready to film this video I was like oh wait the shoe is such a hit so I'm excited once the weather starts getting better here in Seattle I'm gonna whip this bad boy out and we're gonna get some more outfit content with these shoes right here let's talk about another sneaker that I just have literally worn to the ground, but I love so much. It is these Nike Stussy collaboration. It is just a really great classic, simple, easy to style neutral shoe that has just the right amount of uniqueness to separate it from what's currently on the market or just an everyday basic shoe. Love the overall makeup. I don't even know how to describe it, but like I said, you guys see it in the product images. It has like this really interesting sort of netting throughout. I love the color. It's so easy to style with just pretty much anything. I love these subtle sort of Stussy touches and embellishments and branding moments throughout the actual shoe. And I just feel like overall the silhouette, it gives me that sort of chunky, like, you know, footwear sneaker aesthetic that you guys know I love and have come to love over the years, but it doesn't do too much. It is overall just in essence a classic neutral sneaker, but the real ones, if you know, you know, I cannot tell you the amount of compliments and the amount of times that I have gotten stuck because I was wearing this shoe. Like people would actually come up to me and they'll say like, oh, I love those Stussies. And it's so interesting how Stussy, and I guess that's probably my bad on my part that they really do have this cult-like following. Like people can see the Stussy collaboration pieces in the wild. And I feel like this shoe right here has definitely, like I've always loved the Stussy brand, but I think this shoe right here has definitely reinvigorated that said love for the brand for me. So I'm excited to just keep getting a lot of wear out of this. Once it gets super dirty, I probably will buy a couple more pairs just to have in stock it on hand. 
Let's have some fun and let's go to something that's a bit more colorful. These Collegium sneakers right here. I have yet to style these, but I'm so glad that my homie Nick, the owner and the founder of Collegium, shout out to my homie Nick. Like I said, he gifted me these and I specifically told him, I was like, bro, I want something that's a little bit more comfortable colorful, something that's a little bit more out of my comfort zone. And he was like, I got you, say less. And he sent me these and I love it. You know, I love anything that has like an orange, red hue to it. And I feel like this, especially for the upcoming spring's time, I'm so excited to get a lot of wear out of these. And I just, I love these. I love the sort of interesting lace detailing with the sort of drawstring closing mechanism. I love the use of different materials. There's like a tumbled leather on here, suede, the nice casual yet subtle, but obvious, like if you know, you know, type of thing, Collegium stamping right here, and just the overall quality of this shoe right here, Collegium does it right. And I feel like respectfully, I don't be promoting my homies brands like heavily all the time, but Collegium is definitely one of those brands that if I had to say truly, definitely check them out and go show them some love because they do it right. Almost every single thing from them, if not every single thing that they have ever gifted me has always been a 10 out of 10. And trust me, you guys are probably seeing the sneaker and you're like, dang, that's a little colorful for you, Stevie. But trust me, this springtime, I'm switching things up and I'm going to come through with some different looks. So this sneaker right here, I'm super excited to style up. These Prada monolith platform is what they call it, loafers truly are just 10 out of 10. These are me in a loafer, modernized, and that has a little bit more of a unique touch. So as I mentioned, I love those Acne Studios loafers for more of a classic option. These ones right here, I feel like if I wanted something that wasn't a sneaker, wasn't a boot, but I wanted something that was like a loafer, but just was a bit more unique, this is where this shoe comes into play. I feel like for the real ones, you get it. Like certain outfits and certain moments call for different vibes. And this right here is definitely a specific vibe. But the reason why I love it so much is because there is nothing like it in my rotation. As you guys are seeing on the floor right now, that is like this boot slash shoe right here. The butteriness of the Prada leather is truly unmatched. I love obviously the little Prada logo in the front with the stamping in the back and the chunky sole is obviously hard to miss. And I think when done right, when styled right, and when put together and combined with a good outfit, this shoe right here is such a showstopper. And I think it's one of those things, if you know, you know, and if you don't do your research, I say it all the time and I feel like, I don't know, I think some people love me for it and some people don't, but that's totally fine. You know, you're different strokes for different folks, but this shoe right here is definitely a 10 out of 10. And I just, I feel like I haven't done it justice. Like I put together one outfit and I dropped that on Instagram for a collaboration featuring Prada on my feed. I talked about that in my last video. Make sure you go watch it. I'll leave it in the cards and link down below talking about like the backstory behind this shoe, but just trust me. In addition to the colorful sneaker, for the springtime, I'm gonna be coming through with just more unique stuff like this. So this Prada monolith platform loafer is definitely gonna be making an appearance again on my feed over on Instagram and TikTok, so stay tuned. I feel like we should kind of go back to a classic. So let me get this shoe and then let me get this shoe and then we'll continue this video. So this right here is the A6 Gel Kayano 14s and shout out to my homie Nate Griff for, he was the one who put me onto these shoes. I saw him wearing it before me. And then as soon as I saw him wearing it, I was like, bro, those are a hit. And I think he had a different color weight, but nonetheless, like, I would have had known this about the silhouette if it wasn't for him. So shout out to my homie Nate. But going back into the shoe, these are such a really great affordable staple option in my rotation. If you want something that, you know, you're coming through with the Balenciaga vibes, you're coming through with the color profile, Vibes, but you want to be in a specific budget because you're working with a specific budget, the A6 Gel Kayano 14s is definitely for you. I love this specific colorway that I got and I will leave it linked down below, but there are so many other colorways in this particular silhouette and model that I love from them. So I will leave those linked down below as well. Just overall, the shoe is most importantly, super comfy to wear. I wear these all the time. I would probably just wear it a bit more casually, but I have seen other people style them up with like wide leg trousers, more relaxed fitting trousers. It's not personally my aesthetic. I feel like I would wear them with just really great heavy, heavyweight sweatpants, but obviously do whatever you want with your personal style. I feel like this reminds me a lot of just a particular designer shoe, which I'll show you guys next, or I'll show you guys after the next shoe. So the next, next shoe I'll show you. But overall, if you're working on a budget and you kind of want to tap into today's shoe trends, sneaker trends, all that stuff, and you most importantly want a shoe that's comfy, these A6 Gel Kayano 14s are definitely going to be it for you. So check these out. You guys already know what it is. I have to have some classics in my shoe collection. These right here are the New Balance 990. I believe these are the V3s or V5. I don't know. Don't <laughs> Don't come for me in the comments. It's literally on the screen right now as you're seeing me hold up this shoe. 
This shoe right here is such an amazing, again, classic option. I personally don't really own a lot of gray shoes, like, well, actually, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, let me rephrase that. I don't own a lot of all gray shoes. So this one, with the exception of another one, um, those are the only two that I have. And I feel like kind of what I said about the Prada monolith platform loafer is there is a time and a place for a specific vibe, a specific color, a specific sneaker. And these new balances are the perfect option for that said vibe. However, they are timeless and classic enough to style it with pretty much anything. Kind of going back to the chunky sort of shoe trend that I was referring to, if you like that sort of aesthetic, but you don't want to commit to something super oversized like the shoe that I'm wearing right now, which is totally fine. Obviously different strokes for different folks. And if that's not your personal style, that's totally fine. I would opt for a shoe like this. It's coming through with the classic vibes. You can dress it up, dress it down, all that stuff. But it has somewhat of a nice kind of like height addition on these. The sole is not flat by any means. You get some nice elevation with these. So 10 out of 10, highly recommend these if, you, if you're on that more classic sort of tip and you don't like doing it too heavily with the trends and all that stuff, but you still wanna be in line with obviously what looks good in today's sort of men's fashion vibes, these shoes are great for you. These Balenciaga runners right here remind me of the Asics, or I guess you could say vice versa. These shoes right here, I love this particular colorway. I love the maroon mixed with the silver, mixed with the charcoal gray, with the white, and the, the distressing throughout the whole shoe is just chef's kiss, 10 out of 10 for me. To be completely transparent, I personally haven't been getting a lot of wear out of these Balenciaga shoes, along with the one that I'm wearing right now. I just brought them for this video ever since that whole sort of thing happened with the brand. And I won't touch on that because I just, I don't know, I feel like it's a sensitive topic for other people. So I just don't want to offend anyone, but I know what I believe in and I know where I stand on that front so I kind of cooled off with the brand for a little bit until I feel like they kind of had put things into place that I feel like you know I can start sort of supporting them again so I don't want to hear it in the comments like if you have a differing opinion that's totally fine I respect that let's just keep it to the sneakers okay so if we're just purely talking from an aesthetic standpoint just about the shoes the design of the shoe let's separate the art from the brand these are a hit. Like, I love these so much. If I had so much coins and if I just, if my bank account was built like that, this is truly the perfect sneaker for me. I love, again, the chunkiness, the distressing, the use of different material, the kind of just overall makeup of this shoe is great. And I feel like it goes well with my personal style. And I feel like this is the best sort of silhouette from the Balenciaga brand that I personally have seen in terms of their footwear. I used to really like the V1s and the V2s. The V2s are what I currently have on my feet right now. Um, and I'll have these linked down below if you guys wanna like check it out and get the specs or whatever and see the difference. But these right here are personally my favorites from them. And like kind of controversy aside, all that stuff, if that didn't happen, I would have bought this shoe in all different types of colorways, all different types of just vibes for different sort of moments, all that stuff. But obviously it was unfortunate that it happened. So I feel conflicted, like I wanna get rid of them, but then I also just feel like, well, I had these before that whole thing happened. I probably sound like a broken record at this point because I have talked about these Bottega Veneta lug boots so much on this channel recently, literally ever since I got them. But honestly, if you're bad about it, I'm sorry, but I just I love these so much. I feel the same way about the Prada boots as the way that I feel about this boot right here. Right up my alley in terms of aesthetic, the quality of the shoe is just amazing. It's one of those shoes that it just gets better with time. And I just love the visual interest that a shoe like this, or sorry, a boot like this adds to my outfit. I kind of similar to what I said about the Nike Stussy collaboration sneaker. I get so much compliments when I wear these shoes in person, when I style them and you guys see my outfit photos. It's interesting because I feel like it's a particular shoe for a particular person, but then when I wear them in real life or when I share it on social media, it gets so much love. So either I have curated a very specific audience or you guys, just the general public, get the vibe and you know exactly what I'm talking about. So I love these boots so much. I personally love how I picked one that has more of a color towards the bottom of the sole. I feel like it just kind of differentiates it from just a classic chunky black boot. And there's nothing wrong with that, but I already had something like that in my rotation, uh, courtesy of the Prada boots that I mentioned at the top of the video. So going back into these shoes, I think 
if you, for anyone who wants a full review of them, I'll just kind of give you a really quick one right now. The leather is amazing. It takes some time to get comfortable. You have to kind of wear it constantly to kind of for it to form to your foot, which is totally fine and normal with designer shoes. If you own any other Bottega boots or shoes from them, just take your size in the Bottegas. It, it is the exact same size. And I think just my overall general tip with these is just don't knock it till you try it. And it is a shoe that has left an amazing impression on me. And if I, again, had a specific amount in my bank account, I literally would buy this shoe in all different types of colors, color combos, colorways. There is so many Bottega boots that they currently have uh, for sale right now that I just love. I feel like the Bottega footwear just hits different in my opinion. And this shoe right here is a perfect epitome of that. Let's go ahead and talk about another favorite of mine, which is these Bottega Veneta puddle boots right here. As you can see, I actually don't know if you can see it because I'm kind of far away. Um, but as I'm holding this boot up right now, I'm, I'm, it's, I'm, I'm getting nervous because it's so dirty because I got and I get so much wear out of these. I literally had a brown pair of the same exact Bottega Veneta puddle boots that I had to get rid of because I wore them down so much that it just wasn't wearable anymore. That is a testament of a good boot that you get a lot of wear out of. When you love them down heavily that you just can't wear them anymore and it's time to get a new pair, that's a good sign that you got a good return on your investment. And I feel like I'm kind of at this age now where clothes and shoes and designer things, they're not meant to be sitting in your closet. They're meant to be worn, they're meant to be beat up. Obviously take care of them, but two things can be true. You can take care of designer items and you can prolong their life, but it shouldn't last you like forever, 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 or it just shouldn't look brand new all the time. It's kind of like the Birkin theory for any of you guys who kind of follow that or know what that is. Good, high quality pieces look and feel better when they are worn in, and I firmly believe that. And so the Bottega Veneta Puddle Boots is such a great affordable, and I'm gonna quote that, because it is the most affordable boot option that you, you can get from them in terms of their footwear range. This is the only pair that I have right now in terms of the puddles, but I am looking to either replace my brown pair or I'm looking to just get a more unique color, maybe like a green or even a red or, I don't know, I just wanna switch it up. I'm really in the mood lately to switch things up. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Like, should I get more of a classic option or are you like, nah, you already have a good amount of classic options, get something that's a bit more unique. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I wanna end the video off with some more affordable, super casual options for the guy or the girl or whoever is watching me that, you know, you like my style, but you like more of the casual Stevie Solid Flex, like you don't like the super loud, kind of like chunky boot aesthetic and all that stuff, which is totally fine. These Birkenstock Boston Mules are definitely a 10 out of 10. I feel like my top tip when it comes to these is if you are still wearing these, if you still like this trend, I think you should opt for something that's a little bit different. So this one right here is the wool felt version and this right here, the difference in the materiality that was used for the actual base is already elevating this shoe or this sort of option in terms of a footwear piece tenfold. Everyone has the suede option and that's totally fine if that's the one you like, but even with the suede option, I would opt for a different color. I have a chocolate brown one at home that I forgot to bring for today's video. I've seen people have just like really unique colors when it comes to this Birkenstock Boston Mule. I feel like this shoe right here is super comfy and this is a perfect type of footwear option for the upcoming springtime. So I think this video credit to me, obviously, is coming at the perfect time because the sneakers are about to come out, the shoes are about to come out. I think we're putting away the boots because winter is ending by the time this video is coming out. So I would really recommend this shoe right here for the springtime. If you like a sort of clog mule option, you don't want to spend a lot of money. You want something that's comfy, that comes in a lot of options in terms of colors, materials, all that stuff. And for the most part, you can find pretty much anywhere. The Birkenstock Boston Mules are 10 out of 10. And like I said, I'd highly recommend. My last shoe that I want to talk about in today's shoe collection video is these Nike Vomeros right here in the all black, almost charcoal gray light colorway. So for the real ones who have been with me ever since ever, you guys would know that I had the Nike Vomero ACW collaboration. It was the white with the maroon reddish color with a big block in the back. Comment down below if you have been here ever since that video um, and that sort of era within my YouTube channel and stuff. But I love that shoe so much, but obviously I think the ACW Vomero sort of big block in the back had a specific time in fashion and I think that's just not where my personal style is at anymore but I still liked the overall essence and silhouette of the shoe so when I saw these at a local shoe store here in Seattle I just knew I had to pick them up to kind of have a little nod to that era but also just to kind of I liked the silhouette so 
I didn't have an all charcoal gray, like a deep charcoal gray color shoe like this. Um, I like the silhouette. It's super comfy, super inexpensive. And if you don't like this colorway, it comes in other options as well. But this shoe right here hasn't gotten a lot of wear from me lately, but I will never get rid of it because I just know that there's gonna be a time and a place for it. And I just feel like once I start wearing it, I'm just gonna keep wearing it constantly back to back to back.